Whenever a new Minecraft update comes out, all your previous packs become incompatible. As you can see over here, when I hover over these, they are all incompatible as they are made for an older version of Minecraft. However, this pack over here, the one that I am using for my custom GUI, is working. And that is because I have ported it from Minecraft 1.18 to Minecraft 1.19. And that is exactly what I'm going to be showing you how you can do that in today's video. Also, if you like this pack, I made this one myself, as well as a few more of these, and you can find them in the description where you can download them for free. Anyways, let's get right in. So the first thing you want to do is exit Minecraft because you don't need to be inside Minecraft for this. And then you want to grab your pack. My pack is this one over here. This is the custom GUI for the wild update version 2. As I said, links in the description. If you don't know where to find your packs, you want to go type in Windows and R at the same time. Then type in percentage sign app data and then percentage sign. Hit OK or enter and you should enter up, end up in this folder or in this folder over here. Anyways, you want to make sure you're in roaming, then one of the top folders should be .minecraft. When you're in there, you can go to resource packs, and in here are all the resource packs that you have imported before into Minecraft. And then you can select whichever one of these you want. Anyways, my pack is right here, and the first thing you want to do is right click that and then click on extract all, because this file should be a zip file. Now, depending on the device you are using, you might not have this extract all option here. And if you don't, I will leave a link in the description for a program called 7-Zip. The only thing that this program will do is allow you to extract all the items from, uh, from this zipped folder. Anyways, once you've clicked on extract, you can click on extract again, and then within a second or two, um, you have your new extracted folder. And what you just extracted, that should be just a regular file folder. Anyways, you can enter this, and this is going to be um, this. This, this is this is the pack right here, and you should see a few things over here. The only thing you want to worry about when porting it is pack.mc meta. So. Um, you want to go ahead and open this up, and you need to open it up with a text editor. I highly recommend Notepad++. It's a free app, and you can get it just on the Microsoft Store. Um, anyways, you can open this up right here. There we go, and this is what it should look like. It might look a bit different depending on what text editor you use, but if you want a great view like this, just get Notepad++. It's for free and it works great. Anyways, um, now that you're in here, you should see a few things. Um, depending on your pack, it might look slightly different than this, and there might be a few more things down the bottom over here. But what you are going to want to look for is something that says pack format right over here. And depending on the game version that this pack is made for, there is going to be a number over here. The one for Minecraft 1.18 is number 8. And if you want to make this pack work for Minecraft 1.19, you need to remove the 8 and only the 8, and then you want to replace that with a number 9. Then, once you have done that, you can hit Ctrl S to save it, or you can go over to File and save it from there. Anyways, once it's saved, you can just exit out. We don't need that. There we go. And now you're left with this. If you want to double check, 
you can just enter the file again and you'll see that this has now been changed to number 9. So now what we need to do is we need to make it into the same format as this original pack over here. And to do that, you want to select all by going like this or hitting Ctrl and A. Then you want to right click and there should be the option to compress to a zip file. Again, as before, depending on the device you are using, this option might not be here and you might require 7-zip to be able to do this. Anyways, I can just compress this to a zip file and then this zip file is going to be called pack.zip. Well, you can call it anything you want, so I'm going to call it it's me 64's custom GY the wild update and then version 2 1.3.1 because it is a new update of this pack because the previous one was 1.2.1 Anyways, you can call that anything you want. You just need to make sure that if you that you have the dot zip at the end and that you see in this icon that it is a compressed folder. Anyways, the next thing you can do is either launch Minecraft or go back to the resource pack section. I'm just quickly going to do that. So I'm back in the resource packs folder. I can copy that and then I'm just going to paste it in here and now we have that new file and that pack is going to work for Minecraft 1.19. So once you have ported and re-imported your pack into Minecraft, you should be able to enable it just fine from the resource packs area. Anyways, um, that's all for me. I do not have much more to say. If you have something to say and if you have a question or something like that, feel free to leave that down in the comments section below. Anyways, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.